Hey guys, welcome on in. Whew, it's a little bit different view for 30 books in 30 weeks tonight. Or this morning, that's the afternoon where whenever I, it is, wherever I am. But um, I wanted to give everyone a word of encouragement. So as you come on into this video, please share it out. Invite some other folks to join in. You catch on the replay. Share it out. I'm not going to be on here long, but what I, I want to share with you is just a word of inspiration about becoming your own soul motivator. For those of you who are joining for the first time who might not know who I am, my name is Marcy Batiste. I'm a public speaker, I'm an author, and a reality-based success and recovery trainer. I'm also <laughs> a wannabe gym rat, right? So I'm bringing this video to you as part of 30 books in 30 weeks, actually from my fitness center today for a very specific purpose. Um, part of what I do is I have a training company called Bangable Success Advisors, and we specialize in working with businesses and individuals to help them optimize their investments, time, emotion, energy, passion, so that they can get the results they want in their life, their relationships, and their businesses. So I wanna talk real quickly today, as I wrap up my cardio, about being your own soul motivator in conjunction with allowing God to make a way for you. What you cannot ever do is rely on God to do his part without you being willing to do your part. And I want to bring that example to you in the form of me having to be my own soul motivator. What's going on, Earl? Hey, Kevin. It's about me having to be my own soul motivator on my fitness journey. For those of you who followed me for years, you know I used to be almost 400 pounds. I lost 200. I've kept the bulk of that off for nearly 15 years. You don't do that without motivate self-motivation you can't look for external motivation you can't depend on external validation in order to keep up that journey and stay true to your fitness goals so I'm in the gym today so I've been slacking for the last three months you see me breaking a little sweat here and there but I'm in the gym today and I was thinking about how this fits into our 30 books in 30 weeks the book is God will make a way and he always has he always has and what I want to talk about is building up your fitness level building up your soul motivation levels and realizing and understanding that it comes from in here you gotta have heart you can't wait for someone to support you you can't wait for someone to give you permission you can't wait for the journey to be easy. Hey, Matt, what's going on, uh, Terry? Matt Patterson? Um, you can't wait. You have to become your soul motivator because what I know to be true, 100%, is that if I had not learned to become my own motivator and I waited for someone else to give me permission to change my life, I'd still be 386 pounds and miserable. If I waited for someone else to say, hey girl, look like you done put on a couple pounds, you need to get refocused, I'd still be sitting on my couch. I have to be my own soul motivator. I have to be my best accountability partner. I can't wait for anyone else to do that. God will make a way, I promise you. He'll make a way. You're going to start, if it's a fitness journey you're starting, you're starting, everyone has a fitness level. You one has one. It's up to you to tap into it. It's up to you to be your own soul motivator to get off the couch and get started. You want to start your business? You might not have zero experience. You might have years of experience. You have to be your own soul motivator to get up and start that business. If it means Google searches for days, if it means hiring a coach, if it means asking friends, 
If it means, you know, going to the library and spending hours in the library, that's what you have to do as your own soul motivator. Don't wait for permission. God will make a way. I promise you. But you have to do your part. You have to start. You have to start. You have to put in the sweat equity to make it happen. Dreams don't just come true. We make dreams come true. And remember, as your own soul motivator, you might get disappointed sometimes. You might get discouraged sometimes. It won't always be easy. There'll be days where you want to stay on the couch. There'll be days where you don't want to work on your business. There'll be days where your relationship is the biggest hurdle and the biggest obstacle in your life, but it's also the thing that gives you the greatest satisfaction when it's going right. As your own soul motivator, you have to tell yourself that every single day. You have to remind yourself, in the tough times, it ain't always gonna be tough. Good times happen, fun times happen, easy times happen, just like the tough times happen. So, God will make a way, but you gotta do your part. And that's the big arch overarching theme of this week is you have to do your part. He'll make a way. He'll give you the resources available to you. But if you don't reach out to them, it won't do you any good. It won't do you a bit of good. You have to be motivated to start. You have to be motivated to go in. You have to be motivated to do what you need to do to make your dreams happen. God will make a way. He'll put you on the path. He'll put people in position to help you but if you're too scary acting to act on it they won't help he'll give you the physical ability to start it's up to you to do the rest that's the word for the day it's up to you you got to be your own soul motivator whether you're talking about a fitness journey building a business enhancing a relationship whatever the case may be do your part. God will make a way for the rest. Have an amazing day, you guys. Time to go lift.